welcome back. I've got an exciting video today and I'm going to be going through the Batman vs Superman scene where Batman is kicking ass in the warehouse. Literally kicking ass. I'm going to break down the fight scenes to show you the injuries, the devastation and the anatomy and physiology behind the different fight sequences in this movie clip. I've spent at least about 12 hours breaking down this clip, putting all the different aspects of the video together to produce high quality content for you guys and girls at home to enjoy. And the reason why I've made this is because I'm also a martial artist. I've been doing Taekwondo since the age of seven and I still practice to this day. And during that time, I've learned other martial arts such as Kung Fu, capoeira, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, traditional wrestling and grappling. So unlike other videos that you may see about other people breaking down fight scenes, you've got someone who is a doctor and a martial artist who's producing high content. So I hope you like it. Let's crack on. So I'm going to be watching this at the same time as yourself. So I've got my phone here as well. Because as you can see, I'm in a studio, not. I've got wardrobes behind me and a camera with a mic. Simple guy, but good content. So as you can see what Batman is doing here, he just busts into this scene, jumps through the window, comes out through the floor. People expect him to come through the door. Mm -hmm. This is Batman, and your pizza delivery guy. As he's coming up through the floor, he's caused an explosion and the other guy has dropped through the floor. That's going to cause him to have some nasty whiplash. Now from that whiplash, you're going to know that it's not just going to be muscles and ligaments that are going to be affected in his neck, in his C-spine, but it's a possibility of him also sustaining fractures within his neck. Now, within the spinal column at that level, C3, 4, 5 keep you alive. Why? Because they supply the diaphragm. The diaphragm is used for your inspiration. So if you fracture your neck at that point, you're not breathing. Hasta la vista. Plus also, don't forget, this guy's falling through the floor. At least one story. God knows what Batman's done underneath. So this is a multi-trauma patient. This, this guy is falling from this story down into the ground. He will sustain fractures anywhere from his feet, ankles, tibia fibula, the knee joint, so the femoral condyles, femoral shaft, the pelvis, spinal fractures, abdominal trauma, chest trauma, intracranial trauma. You name it, this guy is not going to be getting back up to fight they're causing an explosive reaction. So Batman's got these interesting gadgets which are lighting up as red. It must be a magnetic gadget of some kind. One can sustain blast injuries from these. So imagine that it's on the gun, it's on, their, it's on their hands, and they sustain blast injuries to their fingertips. So these kind of blast injuries can amputate digits, the fingers, the hand, or the arm. This is a minor explosion causing on the gun. Mainly in this scene, I think it's mainly to disable the gun, but if we take it to the effect that actually you can see some of these people are actually flying backwards, that can cause blast and trauma injuries to the chest, and to the abdomen, rupturing internal organs, causing internal bleeding, which can be a catastrophe, which will need immediate, urgent surgical repair. Otherwise, it's good night. Other injuries to the chest would be things like a pneumothorax, a hemothorax, air trapped in the lungs, or blood accumulating in the lungs. These kind of people who sustain these injuries won't be able to breathe for very long unless urgent surgical repair is done. For example, a chest tube getting put into the chest. So I've paused it right here because you can see that he's using his grappling arrow to go through the thigh area of this bad guy. Now through this femoral area, we've got very important structures such as the femoral bone, it shaft, so the femoral shaft. But actually more importantly than that, because that's important, it can cause major bleeding and major hemorrhage. More importantly, the bleeding will occur from the femoral vessel. So you've got the femoral nerve, artery and vein. So for you medics out there, navy, nerve, artery, vein, going from lateral to medial. And also importantly is that if he's gone through the femoral nerve, these people won't be able to extend their knee. They won't be able to straighten the knee and they won't be able to bend at the hip. So this guy is gonna be disengaged from the fight. He's not gonna really be able to walk and in worst case scenario, he might bleed out. And then he's just throwing him into the air, hanging him upside down. Let's have a look what's happening next. He fractures this guy's elbow. So you can see that he's just grabbed his arm and he's hyperextended it. There's not gonna be any use of this arm really at that point. He's gonna have stretched the nerves, possibly even damaged the blood supply at the area. So you've got the brachial artery, then it breaks off into the radial and the ulna artery. And you've got important nerves there, which are the radial, the ulna, and the median nerve. So that guy's arm, from the elbow downwards, is gonna be completely rendered useless. Again, this is something that's gonna need surgical repair. Now this is a huge punch to the ribs. This is gonna cause everything from fractures of the ribs, pneumothorax that we described earlier on, internal bleeding again, chest drain, so hemothorax. So this person will immediately be short of breath, have difficulty in breathing. They're gonna be 
you know, pretty much incapacitated in terms of fighting. And don't forget, at this point, the area is this part here. Very important structure, the liver sits under here. So this person potentially is liable to get liver laceration causing severe internal trauma, internal bleeding. This person might bleed out. This next one, fall down to the floor. This is head to toe trauma. Serious injuries of fractures all over the whole body. And just having another look. So we're talking everything from internal bleeding, spinal fractures, head injuries, broken bones, everything you can imagine. Too many things to go on about. Just understand this guy is gonna be seriously injured. He is not gonna get back up from this. It's a TKO. All right, next clip. So this guy's just had a knife to the lungs. So again, pneumothorax, he's not gonna be able to breathe possible even hemothorax, will need a chest drain. His clothes may potentially protect him and he may not even have any of those features and just actually just have a knife wound. It may even miss those structures and not cause any pathology. So this guy potentially may carry on. All right, so this bad guy is gonna be using a grenade to throw at Batman. Batman's got pretty good skills at doing a roundhouse kick. He's literally just broken this guy's neck and sent it off like a twig. So as we remember before, C3, 4, 5, keep you alive. Help with the diaphragm, help you breathing. Literally Batman's used this guy as a punching kick bag. And I don't really know what more to say about this grenade blowing up. If he, this guy's not dead, he's going to have serious burn, blast, wound injuries, cavities, either in the head, the chest, the abdomen, the pelvis limbs completely blown off, massive hemorrhage, fractures, internal injuries. If this is not game over, I don't know what it is. He's using the gun base to the jaw, to the head area, possibly might get a fractured jaw, still able to fight. These people are still able to fight. So just remember like boxing, kickboxing, um, UFC, all these kind of things. These people suffer these injuries. They carry on fighting. It's not gonna disable them. They've got, these people have high amounts of catecholamines running through their system. They're gonna be able to keep fighting. He's hitting the hip. No real damage is taking place. He's just stalling the attack. So we see a punch to the head. This will cause things like concussion, possible cranial fractures, which can cause serious internal cranial injuries, such as um, epidural, extradural hemorrhages or traumatic subarachnoid bleeds. This guy could potentially carry on fighting. He potentially may be incapacitated. We'll find out later in the clip. Now this is where Batman becomes the rock. If you smell! Literally smack down. Spinal fractures, paralysis, brain bleed, fractures of the skull, internal organ injuries. Batman is using this guy as a rag doll and the acceleration to deceleration is so rapid that it will cause a shift of the internal organs and cause shearing injuries. So rupturing and tearing of organs and vessels. This is again, very severe trauma. Another guy that's not gonna be getting up to fight. Now the man is looking worried. To be honest, if I saw that, I'd be running out. I'd be like, thanks Batman, see you later. Best of luck. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, because it allows me to have good feedback that you yourselves at home enjoy watching these type of videos so that I can produce more.